Hello, NCAC Nation, and welcome back to another edition of The Rundown. On this week's show, we'll provide a brief preview of this week's 2015 NCAC Men's and Women's Basketball Tournaments. On the women's side, 8th ranked DePaul secured the top seed in the 2015 tournament for the fourth year in a row after the Tigers completed the NCAC regular season with a perfect 16-0 record for the third time in the last four seasons. As the top seed, the Tigers will open tournament play tonight, February the 24th, at home against Hiram at 8 p.m. Other quarterfinal matchups tonight include second-seeded Wittenberg hosting seventh-seeded Kenyon at 7.30 p.m., third-seed Denison hosting sixth-seed Allegheny at 7.30 p.m., and finally, fourth-seeded Oberlin entertaining fifth-seeded Ohio Wesleyan at 7 p.m. Tonight's winners will advance to the semifinals on Friday at the site of the highest remaining seed to emerge from the quarterfinals. Semifinals will be played at 6 and 8 p.m. on Friday with the host playing in the later time slot. The women's championship game is set for 4 p.m. on Saturday at the same site as the semifinals. And as always, the champion of this year's tournament will receive the league's automatic bid into the 2015 NCAA Division III Women's Basketball Tournament. And on the men's side, 13th ranked Ohio Wesleyan is the top seed in the 2015 NCAC tournament after the Bishops completed the regular season with a 16-2 mark in league play to clinch their first outright NCAC championship since the 1986-87 season. And ironically, in that 86-87 season, current OWU head coach Mike DeWitt was a senior on that squad that finished the season with an overall record of 19-8 and an 11-1 mark against NCAC foes. As the top seed, OWU will host 8th seed Oberlin tonight, February 24th, in a quarterfinal game at 7 p.m. The other quarterfinal matchups tonight include 2nd seed Worcester hosting 7th seed Denison at 7.30 p.m., 3rd seed Wabash entertaining 6th seed Allegheny at 7.30 p.m., and finally 4th seed DePaul hosting 5th seed Wittenberg at 6 p.m. And like the women, the men's semifinal games will be played at the site of the highest seed to emerge from the quarterfinal round on Friday night. However, on the men's side, if the semifinals are played at either Ohio Wesleyan or Wabash, the games will be played at 5.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. with the host playing in the later time slot. Fans, please note in this scenario, the gym will be cleared in between games and a separate ticket will be required for both contests. If DePaul, Wittenberg, or Worcester host the semifinals, one ticket will be good for both semifinal games that will be played at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., with the host again playing in the later time slot. The men's championship game is set to be played on Saturday night at 7 p.m. at the same site as the semifinals. And as is custom, the tournament champion will receive the NCAC's automatic bid into the 2015 NCAA Division III men's basketball tournament, which begins with first round play on March the 6th. Fans also please note, should one institution emerge from tonight's quarterfinal games as the highest seed in both the men's and women's tournaments, the women's semifinal games will be played on Thursday and the men's on Friday. The championship games would then be played on Saturday with the women playing at 3 p.m. and the men at 7 p.m. In this scenario, the gym will again be cleared in between the championship games and a separate ticket will be required for each contest. Complete information for the 2015 NCAC basketball tournaments can be found online on both genders tournament homepages on the NCAC website. And as always, NCAC sports fans, for up-to-date news, stats, and standings from around the North Coast Athletic Conference, you can visit our website at www.northcoast.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter 
at NCAC, as well as like us on Facebook. Well, that puts a wrap on this week's show, but be sure to join us again next week for another edition of The Rundown. <music>